Hi guys, it's Peaches and Plushies, and today I'm showing how to make this squid. I show another version as well. Um, it not complete though, but uh, it, this is a pretty easy tutorial. You don't need much. I'm gonna show the materials in a second, but I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. So of course I'm using felt, which doesn't really matter. If you're hand sewing, it can be difficult using other materials, but you could really use whatever. Some sharp scissors. I like to use buttons. I guess you can use more pieces of felt for the eyes if you don't feel comfortable using buttons or you just don't have them. I also have the pattern, which will be in my description for you to print out. Um, here's a closer view, I guess. Uh, and then I'm using pins and needles. The needle I'm using, it doesn't matter for this one, but I like, you could use a longer one. Um, you don't need a tiny little needle to get all the details and all that. And then I'm using thread, of course. These beads are totally optional, but I feel like they add um, a nice weight to the plush. And along with that, you're going to need some polyester stuffing. Or you can use old scraps of felt. I also forgot to include a hot glue gun. You need that. Now I'm going to start cutting out all of the pieces, which I use pins to do. I don't like using fabric markers because they might leave a little, little spot that I can't get rid of. Um, some people have asked how I cut the pieces so cleanly, and the only advice I can really think of giving is trying to do long strokes rather than tiny little cuts. Um, except for going around corners and stuff, as you can see I'm doing. But like, if you're doing just a straight line, cutting it in small pieces makes it a lot, um, it just, it, it's choppy that way. I chose a darker colored felt for the back to kind of resemble a burnt crust. Um, this piece also shows that I used longer strokes to make it less choppy. This next part is an optional um, detail if you'd like to add. I think it looks even cuter this way, but if you don't feel comfortable cutting and possibly ruining the fabric if you miscut, um, you definitely don't have to do this, or you can just put a heart on top, like cut out. Um, it's just whatever you prefer. I didn't feel that it was necessary to um, put this in the pattern, but I take the buttons and I cut out a larger circle of felt, and I think it adds a nice detail to the plush with extra, like, you know, color, um, and it makes the eyes pop out a lot more. Here's everything cut out, and I'm going to show you guys how I thread the needles. Um, keep in mind, <laughs> I'm looking through a camera while I do this, so... I miss a couple of times. I'm normally a lot better than that. I cut a little bit. Um, there's also, I don't remember what it's called, but there's a tool to help you do it if it's hard for you to get um, uh, the thread into a needle so small. And you can look into that. It usually comes with sewing kits. I completely forgot what it's called though. Finally, time for the sewing. So, I kind of, I make it look messy towards the base right here because it doesn't really matter. Um, this part is not going to be shown. Ooh, I'm, I'm struggling with that. <laughs> um, but you want it to get neater as you go along because the top part is going to be shown and the sides will be shown. Um... And the way that I, I'm doing a blanket stitch right now, so I'm pulling the needle through and then I'm also wrapping the thread around and then pulling. And then I'm just repeating that process, making sure to continue to wrap the needle around because you won't get that effect if you don't. 
And once I'm done sewing, I wrap the thread around the needle and pull it through to knot it. And I do that several times to make sure it's secure. This part can be a little bit messy, as I said before, because it doesn't matter. I'm not going to use a blanket stitch to sew this because it would be extremely difficult and not look right. I can't remember the exact name of the stitch, but basically you're just going to pull the needle through and then poke it out and then pull it through and all of that stuff, no looping. And you're just going to do that all around the crust. You can you can keep the, um, the space in between the needles, like you can do whether you want it larger or smaller. I like to keep it kind of on the smaller side, but of course you can get even smaller than this. Um, it just depends on your preference. And after that, I'm just going to tie it off, make sure that it's secure because I don't want to mess around and accidentally pull the seam through because that would suck. And then I'm going to, I'm going to half it and I'm going to start sewing across the top and this is going to give it more of a 3D shape. So the squid's head will be a lot less flat and I'm going to do a running stitch, I believe this is called just trying to get it as secure as possible. And once that's all done, I can flip it out and I like to squeeze it a bit because I feel like it gives it a nicer look. And I'm gonna repeat this process on the second piece, just I'm not gonna include the heart because it's gonna be on the back and it's not gonna really matter. And then I'm going to glue the top of the bottom headpiece to the bottom of the top headpiece. And I guess that you could sew it, but I just like the, the look of um, the clean look with no stitches because the little frill part um, is not going to be sewn either. So I like when it has a little bit of sewn areas and a little bit of just clean, no stitches areas, if that makes any sense at all. And I'm just going to pin the top part to the head and I'm going to show in a second that there's another option for this if you don't want it to look um, pie crust like and you just want it to be um, this. This is what you want instead. Um, I like to do this one for cat looking squids. I made a Luna inspired squid um, and I liked it a lot. And there's the pattern piece that you do one or the other you don't need to sew both and now i'm working on the eye and i did three loops around the eye and here i am pinning everything in place because i want to make sure that i'm using the right side of the felt i did three um of the normal pattern sides and then I reversed three of them. So I have six tentacles in total with those ones. And I'm showing you that this part does have to be clean because this is going to be visible. I'm not going to sew on the top of the tentacles. I'm just going to sew on the sides and I'm going to go around it, but I'm not going to sew the top. And I'm going to show how I close off the seam without it being visible, making sure that I did not sew through the top. I'm going to push my needle through a part of the thread and I'm going to loop it around and pull it through, making a knot. And then I'm going to pull it through again to just make sure it's secure. And then after I do that, I'm going to push it back inside of the um, tentacle, pull it out, and then cut it off. And it should not be very visible that way. This is when I realized that I was losing daylight and I had this squid already um, put together the tentacles and all of that. So don't mind that I'm completely ditching the first squid to finish this off. I'm going to make a clean stitch like I did with the tentacles on 
the bottom of the squid head and I'm just gonna do a blanket stitch um, around everything and when I get to the top part I'll show you how to make it clean. Once I get to the top part, I'm going to pull it through the piece that I'm adding and I'm going to kind of do it at an angle so that I can stab it through the first piece and um, I'm going to pull it out and then poke it in and then um, I'm going to do the same thing that I was doing with the heart but making sure that the back looks clean as well since it will be visible and I'm just going to do that all around the top. My camera was dying, so I did not get a film attaching the bottom part of this, but with the same thread and needle, I'm just gonna start going from a blanket stitch to that st stitch where I just go and I don't loop it, and I'm gonna fill it with beads at this part. I stuffed the head already um, before adding the bottom part, I stuffed the head. But now that I have a tiny hole where the beads won't slip through, I'm just going to stuff it again and make sure it's all secure in there. You could add more stuffing to this part. I just like the, the weight of it. Um, and I'm just going to sew it across. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of this part, which kind of sucks, but um, hopefully it's still understandable. And finally, to add the tentacles, I'm going to pull through and then I'm going to start poking it through the, the tentacles, pulling it, and then looping it and attaching it down to the base, as you can see here. At this moment, my camera actually did die, so I didn't get to record it, but I just hot glued the eyes onto the squid, nothing fancy. Um, I don't think you really need a, a video showing it. Um, there it is. I just hot glued the eyes on, no sewing, and I love how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that some parts um, cut out, but I hope this was understandable. If, if you do make a squid, please tag me and show me. I would love to see. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys like how the tutorial came out.